Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Talking Through the Medias, T3 Medias, if you will. And today we are going to be talking about about 24 people on Reddit who decided to share their experience with the worst examples of rich kid syndrome. They have Arukin, Aruka one. A friend of mine inherited a lot of money, enough to buy a house, and he spent it on two cars. A Subaru completely modded to Ken Block's version of, of it and some BMW, both extremely expensive. He asked, we asked him a few months later, uh, a few months altered why, why he didn't just buy a house with it because he still lived with his parents. He told us that he already owned a penthouse. He just didn't want to move yet. They had an answer. See, some of y'all got to stop asking these kids these questions. Yeah, y'all not ready for it, the answer. You're not ready for it. From Jimmy the other cat. Knew this one guy at my college who didn't understand why everyone is so worked up about student loans. I remember him saying something along the lines of, why don't people just pay the tuition up front? He was also quite sheltered. Seems simple enough to me. Here's the card. Tuition. If you feel that good about it, pay everybody else's tuition. Pay your, pay all your friends, your immediate friends, your five in your group, whoever you're looking down on, making fun of them for picking up a quarter, pay their tuition. They'll be your friends. For, yeah, you'd have my loyalty for life. Uh, from Toil and Bubble, I could absolutely survive on my own. My parents just pay for my food and house, but I pay for everything else. If I got a job, I could pay for my food and house too said at 18 in the middle of a discussion between two middle class peers who were talking about saving money because they had to pay for their own college and living expenses about five minutes prior to this conversation both peers had ordered the cheap dinner option and declined a shopping trip later that night while rich girl was talking non-stop about buying the best slash most expensive souvenirs for her friend this is oh, the continues once tried working a regular person retail job and quit within a couple of weeks as it just wasn't right. And I didn't like it. Red uh, red had actually response had red had actual responsibilities for the first time moved cross country for an eight month education course where her parents pay for food, rent and school. They also gave her a debit card which replenished up to $500 when it hit 50 by default. That's the day. Okay. She still posts Snapchats with captions. Of, what would be stopping her from depleting the $500 on purpose with and cashing it out just to get the 500 to replenish on its own and just stacking it up. Uh, she still posts on Snapchat with captions of, that broke person life over pictures of her getting Starbucks every day and insists she could survive on her own constantly suggests the most expensive options for meals, activities, etc., and tasks on things like we can just split the bill. I know you're saving, but it's just, you know, amount at least $50. You'll be fine, right? That's how she talks to people then gets upset when people can't afford to spend time with her or when someone dares to suggest she helps to cover the cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're if, if your friends don't have those means, if you're not if your circle of friends aren't that group, and you slumming it right now with us, you know the common found. You slumming it right now. Okay, slumming it. Okay, all right, slumming it. You don't get to pick the destination all the time. We're going for a hike. You don't want to do that? Go take a hike. I'm saying we we you know, we going to this concert. We got we we afford the tickets. You know we gonna buy our, you know buy a hot dog. You know what I'm saying no we in, we not VIP. In. No we not going backstage. Well then don't fucking go then. Then stay your ass at home. Don't suggest for us what we should do if your ass is always picking the most expensive thing just because you know you can afford it. Do you want to have the experience with your friends or do you want to just go out and just do? Because you could just do the shit on your own. 
period and be like oh, oh you know yolo and then go get your other friends who can't afford it and go but but if you want your friends to go with you i've done it i, I paid their way i pay their way when i when i was uh you know uh six figures working overseas and stuff my homeboy wants to go with me over we work uh when i done some trips i paid for the ticket the t- i paid for the, the ticket the uh the the hotel all of that and we party i gave and i gave him uh spending cash we parted. I put it in his hands. That's your money, and you do whatever you want with it. Told him how, how the whole the country worked, how everything worked. Let's go have fun. We didn't. That was it. I didn't ask. I didn't, I didn't make him feel any type of way about it. That's that was immediately his money. That was his room. That was his ticket. And uh, and that and I don't even think of that when I think about that experience. I don't even think about that part of it. That's like the first time I ever said that out loud. Really, technically. Now that I think about it now, in all the years I've talked about that experience and the times that me and him have, me and him have had plenty of conversations since then. We only talk about the fun we've had. I've never brought up the fact that, hey, you remember how I paid for all that shit? Never. Because you don't think like that. Well, maybe these type of people do. I don't know. I don't think like that. I mean, I'm normal. You guys, y'all, my followers, y'all are normal. But this motherfucker right here. Anyway, number 17. From Head Ghost. Uh... <laughs> Friend, a friend got a theater with an arcade built over their family's 12 car garage. Parents didn't want the five year old sister to be jealous, so they hired an architect to design and build her a fully functioning playhouse with a bathroom, AC, and bedroom. Okay. Don't want the baby to be jealous. Number 18, lovely porcelain says, My fiance's cousin, he managed to to crash four cars while still in high school because his father would replace them when he moved and some of those rich kids be doing it on purpose just like the other story they be doing it on purpose to get a better car when he moved on to college he got kicked out for several of uh, several apartments for owning a dog when they weren't permitted he told me he didn't care though since his father also funded his uh, continuous uh, stream of new housing from what I last heard, his father is now paying for his long-standing drug habit. Oh, yeah, I heard a story. Didn't y'all get me to say something like that? The guy was like, if you instantly was giving of like billions of dollars like out of nowhere, what would what would happen in your life? Well, I guess I would develop a very expensive cocaine habit. Very honest answer. Very true. Me too, probably. Uh, number 19 from genetic guy. So my best friend's wife teaches at a risque 40 K per year, private school. I said risque. It's ritzy. <laughs> I said risque. <clears throat> Take two. So my best friend's wife teaches at a ritzy 40 K per year, private school as in $40,000 a year for elementary and middle school. I think the high school is like 50k plus well she teaches seventh and eighth grade i can't remember and she said she always goes around the class after the summer break and asks them what they did over the summer and she particularly remembers one kid complaining about how much his summer sucked because he was stuck on his parents yacht all summer and they didn't even take it to anywhere cool. Just Italy. This is when you need to emancipate yourself from your parents. Get a motherfucking job and pay for your yacht trip, your damn self. You little fucking bastard. I wish my son, I wish my kid would say some shit like that if I did that. I wish you would. I wish you would. See what happened to you. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. See what happened to you. I don't even know this kid. Number 20. <laughs> From Vob 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 99. Real quick. One of my college classmates wrecked his Range Rover over winter break and came back in an Aston Martin. Get a set em, pero tero. If I'm saying it right in Spanish, wanna be a baller. Shot collar, 20 years black. From Lemuria. Lemuria underscore six. 
six six my friend literally throws away his change because he hates holding coins doesn't matter if it's 99 cents he'll throw it away that shit adds up from dominus 83 in middle school we had we were asked to draw our homes for some assignment and had it in at the end and handed it in at the end of the class a popular extremely wealthy kid that sat behind me raised his hand and smugly asked the teacher for another sheet of paper because he couldn't draw it all on one page his friends just snickered but i was cringing even at 12 i remember thinking it was such a snobby thing to say i'm gonna need another piece of paper which the summer home the winter home the one in aspen which home bitch the one that was built the custom made one the one with the marble the one for the dog the one that the for the dog that's bigger than your house which home bitch am i gonna get extra credit for having more homes than a little bit <laughs> from Gw- Gw- Gwiz 3879 this rich bitch in high school got a bmw for her 17th birthday about a week later, she to she totaled it, and me and a few of my friends wondered what happened, considering they're considered pretty safe and reliable. Apparently, she wanted a brand new 2000 BMW 3 Series, and she got a 1997. Ew. A lot of uh, there's, a, there's some consistencies here. A lot of y'all, them rich kids, purposely totaling cars to get a better car. Be riding a bike with my ass, even if I could afford it. Take the bus. Get a ride or take the bus. I just gave you. I gave you that car. That's the one I gave you, and you ain't getting another. To get a fucking job. To get the fuck out there. That that ain't your room. That's in my. That room is in my house. I'll take everything out of there. You be wearing the same shirt to school every day if you don't shut the fuck. Say it again. Last one right here from Look Across the Water. I worked for a dentist and her son is a spoiled brat. He was at the office and one day because she had to bring him to an appointment later that day. He got bored and went out wandering around some of the local shops. He came back a little while later and without any primable, uh, primable walked up to her and said, Give me eighty dollars. She asked him, "What's it? What was this for?" And he just repeated to himself, and she repeated. He, he just wait. He just repeated himself, and she gave it to him. Give me eighty dollars. What's it for? Give me eighty dollars. Damn. Just want to know what if he's already out the door. I just she, before she even finished the last sentence. I just wanted to know if Timmy. Uh, if you like my reaction please hit the like button subscribe let me know let me know uh, about any you have any experiences out there with any with any rich entitled little bastards like that i've just read you from from this these reddit post uh uh any rich kid syndrome experiences that you would like to share please comment below and share yours i would love to uh hear about that that's the question that's the question for this video right there you have any rich kid syndromes that you'd like to share uh share them with me real quick uh i would appreciate it and i will react to those and uh and follow back up with you guys uh yeah that's my reaction uh damn i don't even know these kids i don't want to beat them all up uh that, let me <laughs> that's, thanks for watching guys until next time guys hey Our supporters help make all this content possible, so make sure you check out our Patreon page so you can help us bring you the content you want. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel and please drop a like on this video, it really does help us. Also, don't forget you can turn on notifications so you don't miss a single review, react, trending, or we got your mail. I want anybody I want at Walmart, because free. Yeah, Walmart is going to be the new superstar (laughs) store, for sure.